Kia ora koutou, I'm Neen, I'm the Joy Ninja. Welcome or welcome back. On this channel I talk about budgeting and I do a weekly cash stuffing. I started with envelope budgeting around two months ago and I'm on a really low income. I found at the start that the hardest thing was trying to decide what were my savings priorities and what couldn't I afford to save for just yet. I've done a lot of research and I noticed that Heaps of personal finance advice is structured on a kind of building blocks approach. A bit like Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Have you heard of that? It's really popular and I'm drawing it out for you now. Maslow's idea is that we all have the same types of needs and we're all motivated to achieve them in the same order. It kind of makes sense that at the bottom you would want to sort out your food, water, shelter, sleep and clothing before you would be motivated to look at things like love and belonging and your self-esteem. So it seems to me that a lot of personal finance advice is kind of laid out like this pyramid. There are step by step instructions in order to get yourself out of debt and start saving for your retirement. So here's what a priority of needs pyramid might look like in a budgeting sense. Please know that I'm not calling out any one particular financial guru, this is a mashup of what I understand to be several people's views on how you need to build financial wealth and freedom, or for me, build abundance. I also want to say that looking at this pyramid, logically this makes sense, right? I mean, my brain tells me this is the way to do things, but we're talking about motivation here. In my budgeting journey, I'm sitting in the red zone on this diagram. I'm currently building up an emergency savings fund. While this is really good and logically the right thing that I should be doing for myself right now, I don't have a home of my own and I don't have money for holidays. I don't even have money left over in my budget to save for those things right now. And um, that's kind of demotivating. The thing I didn't realise about Maslow's hierarchy is that his theory hasn't actually ever been proven. A bunch of research scientists went and surveyed a whole lot of people and the data they got back was quite different from his theory. Instead of this pyramid of needs, there are actually just three things that motivate people. And the really cool thing about this is that they don't have to happen in a particular order and no one thing is more important than the other. So the first is autonomy or your ability to make decisions about who and how and why and where you spend your money. Obviously debt is the biggest barrier to feeling autonomous in your financial journey and if you are any kind of debt you know what I'm sending you a big hug because I have been there for almost all of my 20s and my 30s and I'm so, so grateful to be out of debt now. Anyway, I'd like to talk more about debt in a future video, but let's move on. A second motivating factor is connection. This is so key, guys. I don't think you can do all the savings and not have fun and not live your life, not connect to your family to your traditions, to your community, whether that's doing some volunteering or uh, Christmas or uh, religious activities or going to experiences that are bigger than yourself. I think we all need room in our budget 
to be able to live our lives even if we're in debt and even if we're on a very low income. So here's the last motivating factor and it's competence. I think this is my favorite. This is, are you leveling up? Are you learning? Are you facing the reality of your situation? Are you hustling to find the resources, the learning, to see your skills grow and expand over time? Notice competence isn't about perfection. It's not about getting it right every time. It's just about learning and acknowledging that you as a person can be in charge of your own budget. You've got this. I'm curious, do any of these three points resonate for you? I want to leave you with a question to think on. What can you do to experience greater autonomy, connection and competence in your budget and in your life now? And also, if you feel moved, leave me a comment and let me know which sinking fund or savings challenge is your favorite at the moment. What are you really loving saving for? Don't forget to give this video a like and a subscribe if you feel moved. I'll be back later in the week with another cash stuffing. Until then, talk to you soon.